for removal of Honorable Franklin Mithika Linduri, EGH, Cabinet Secretary for Agriculture and Livestock Development on the following grounds. One, gross violation of provisions of the Constitution or any other law. Two, that there are serious reasons believing that the Cabinet Secretary has committed a crime under national law. Three, gross misconduct. This is in relation to the approval of the procurement and distribution of fake fertilizer by the National Cereals and Produce Board and submitting false information to a committee of the National Assembly on the distribution of GPC diatomaceous, which was distributed as a soil conditioner and Order. not as fertilizer. Order. Hi, everyone. Hope you're doing well from whatever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, I shared a video with you here from the National Assembly on the proceedings. It was a very long video, about 60 minutes. And I know most of you cannot wait that much long. And um, you, might, you might have missed up on some of the important issues that you should have been well about if you are a Kenyan or if you are concerned about what is happening in this country. So I have decided to come up with this another video, a very short one, to make things simple for you because that's our work here, to make it simple, clear and to the point so that you don't waste too much of your time looking in the entire story. But again, for those who want to look for the entire video, you can just go back and watch our yesterday video. You will get to know everything that happened and the way forward on the proceedings about the special motion to remove CS Mithika Linturi from the Ministry of Agriculture. People say that Mithika Linturi should have been arrested. That means you fire and arrest. <laughs> so, Honorable Jack Womboka, Bumula Member of Parliament, has been making too much noise in the public and promising Kenya that he will take an action, make sure that Mithika Linturi, because he has committed an economic crime, to go home through impeachment. His word has come true. So it was not just a mere noise he was making. He has make, made it true by going far to convince and pull numbers to have 110 members of parliament signing to that motion. Because for this motion to go through, at least you need a quarter of the number of members of parliament to support it. So in Kenya, you need 88 members of parliament to support it, so that that's a quarter. Honorable Mboka got 110. So he passed even the number by good figures. So with that move, the motion has been approved by the National Assembly Speaker, Moses Masikawetangula. It is going to be discussed. And if Metekandru will be found to have committed a crime, he will be sent home. Once impeached, Ruto has no any other option but to sign and send Mithika Linturi back home. So there's one thing here. Many members of parliament, including your own somewhere, I am sure they have talked about the issue of fake fertilizer because farmers have been affected. That means across the country, the entire country has been affected in one way or another. And members of parliament took it as political fodder to make too much noise. But there is one thing here, one test to prove that if their noise was genuine and if they mean good for you, then, number one, they should have signed their signature of impeachment that Jack Wamboka is pushing for. Are they on the list? Because now, for the motion to continue, the move of the motion has to read all the names and confirm so that if there is anyone who did not sign and has had their name, they can make a complaint. So today I have come with just one thing. To bring to you the entire names of members of parliament who are supporting this motion through their signature. So if your member of parliament made noise that farmers have suffered today to prove if he was serious, it is if you hear their name being mentioned on the list of those 
who have signed it. And this one way it exposes individuals who make noise here without a taking serious action. So without wasting time, I want to leave you here with a video. You listen to Jack Wamboka mentioning each and every name so that you, if your member of parliament is not there, you can now understand the kind of person you have serving you. So remember, subscribe, like, share, and comment. Then watch the video and drop the comment. Thank you and see you in our next video. One, the Honorable Wanami Wamboka, the Honorables Joyce Kamene, Raphael Sauti Bita Wanjala, Fatuma Zainab Mohammed, Paul Musimi Nzengu, James Wambura Nikal, Gideon Mutemi Mulyungi, Julius Musili Mawade, Rebecca Nonaishi Tongei, Joseph Maero Oyula, Stephen Mogaka, Doris Donya Aburi, Beatrice Kadeve, Kadeveres, Kadeveresia Elachi, Shaquille Ahmed Shabir Ahmed, Clive Ombane Gisairo, John Walter Owino, Tadeus Kidua Zambia, Elsie Busihile Muhanda, Frederick Lusuli Ikana, Daniel Ogoka Manduku, Mohamed Aden Ado, Patrick Simiyu Baraza, Zamzam Mohamed Chimba, David Losiako Kosin, Daniel Wanyama Sitati, Gadoni Wamuchomba, Mohamed Saud Machele, Samuel Onunga Atandi, Charles Ngusia Nguna, Mwago Amos Maina, James Opio Wandai, Junet Sheikh Nur Mohammed, Obadia Barongo Nolfason, Gertrude Mbeyu Mwanyanje, Geoffrey Makoha Odanga, Hamisi Chome Abdi, Erastas Kivasu Nzioka, Sarah Polata Korere, Kajuang Tom Joseph Francis, Makali Benson Mulu, Guyo Wako Jaldesa, Paul Kahindi Katana, Joshua Aduma Owar, Joshua Oduma Owar, John Mbadi Ngongo, Mishi Juma Hamisi Mboko, Hussein Abdi Bare, Innocent Obiri Momanyi, Mili Grace Akoth Odiambo, Irene Mudoni Kasalu. Honorable Speaker, today you have made history. I want the Speaker to, to, to listen to me. Honorable Speaker, I'm saying that today you have made history. And you have put this house on the pedestal of a transformative institution. An institution that adheres to the rule of law and constitutionalism. Honorable Speaker, under Article 152, this is this motion by the Honorable Jack Wamboka is the last resort that the people of this country through their elected leadership can take as a way of holding to account those uh, uh, that uh, have been put in service of the nation. Order, Honorable Wandai, you are anticipating debate. I just want to thank you very much. That and is more thank than thanking much. the speaker. And appeal to my colleague members to turn out in their large numbers. We want this house on Thursday to be full to the brim so that we can...